Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find this area here from negative infinity all the way to uh, to positive infinity, meaning integrate this from negative infinity to infinity. But before I ask you to press pause and have a go, um, let let me just show you why this uh, this is an even function because if you look at it currently, it's quite strange because e to the power of x looks like this, and then you've got this thing here. So uh, so e to the power of two x. If e to the power of x looks like this, e to the power e to the power of two x would be a lot steeper. Uh, but then you plus one, so so you uh, you will move everything up by one. So here you so so let's just say this here is is this bit here one plus uh, e to the power of two x, and then you've got e to the power of x here. If you get this one divided by this one, for some reason it's an even function. So this, for, for some strange reason, this is this here is an even function. So before I ask you to press pause and have a go, let me just explain why this is an even function. Because at first glance, you wouldn't think that this would be an even function. Because here you've got this thing divided by divided by uh, divided by this thing. So um, let let me just quickly explain why this is an even function. So and remember, an even function is when you when you apply the negative version and it, it equals the original version. So this here is an even function. So uh, let, let me just quickly explain why it's an even function. So here you've got our original function. To, uh, to show that it's an even function, we will put the negative version in here and then slowly manipulate it to, uh, to, to get it back to this form here. Then we would know that uh, if you apply the negative version, it will equal the, uh, the normal version. Meaning it's an even function. So uh, let's let's try and do the negative version. So put this into uh, into into here. So that will then give you this, and then put this into into here. That will then give you this thing here will be negative two x. And then uh, imagine this as being this divided by divided by this thing here um, divided by this thing here. But I imagine this thing as one over. Uh, Positive two x. So now, um, now, uh, now merge these two together. So here you've got one thing plus another thing. Merge them together. That will then give you this. So you've got one fraction divided by another um, times times the reciprocal of, of this. That will then uh, that will then give you this. Uh, so so now it's top times top, bottom times bottom. That will then give you this. So now uh, now these two will cancel out. So, uh, so that would then give us this. This here is the original function. So, so you can see it is uh, an even function. So, um, as it turns out, uh, this here is an even function. But, uh, but, um, but now, uh, now, uh, now press pause and have a go. So work out this area here. I've just shown you that this here is an even function. But what I really want to ask you is um, work out the area of this thing from negative infinity to uh, to positive infinity, okay. Um, press pause and have a go, and I will tell you the answer in uh, in the next video, okay.